The Gauteng ANC is rejecting an Integrity Commission report recommending the suspension of Katani Masangu and Brian Shongwa's membership. Masangu was the Gauteng Health MEC when more than 140 mentally ill patients died after being relocated from life as it Dimeni. Shongwa has been implicated in corruption amounting to 1.2 billion rand when he was health MEC. He resigned as the ANC chief whip in the Gauteng legislature today. Ian says Aldrin St. Pierre has been following this story and he joins us now. Good evening, um, Aldrin. Now, the Gauteng uh, ANC is rejecting uh, everything that uh, the Integrity Commission is recommending or only aspects of it? It's, it's, they're, only, they're only rejecting an aspect. They agree with the Integrity Commission's findings, at least that um, these members, and this is now including um, Simon Mufugeng, who is the former mayor of Mfulene, have brought the party into disrepute and um, that they should not represent the, par the, 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 the ANC on public positions. But Simon Mufugeng, who was the mayor of Mfuleni, already resigned last year. He also stepped down as a councillor, and this was already last year. We know, as a matter of fact, that Kretani Matlang also resigned as um, a member of the provincial legislature and as um, the MEC for health. It is only Brian Klongwa who has remained in a public position. So he's the only one, seemingly, who seems to be affected by this decision by the Integrity Commission, which is why he has now given in and resigned as the chief whip of the party. But he still remains a member of the party um, representing the party in the provincial legislature and I asked the ANC but why and the ANC said that they will be going through certain processes because they want to fill that vacancy and it may take some time considering the position um, that um, that long were held as um, the chief whip of um, the ANC and this has been a position that he's been holding for the past nine years now so he will eventually leave the yep. legislature yep. but the ANC wants to uh, start its own processes first fill in that position yep. before he can yep. actually leave so he's not standing like a side pending um, other processes that may no. find him no. guilty or not. Uh, un unlike, unlike with the VBS findings and the VBS recommendation by the Integrity Commission, and this is now at the national level, um, they are being told to step down. And as I've indicated, that it only affects Brian Klong. And the ANC says that he will only step down at a later stage while they try and fill this vacancy. Now, here's the strange thing about this, about this report, the recommendation as well, was that, um, this is what we understand, was that um, Kedani Matlango, as well as Brian Klongo, who are both PEC members, must step down as members of the PEC and that their membership should be suspended for a period of time, which then means that they are not allowed to stand for any other um, position within the ANC. And just take a listen to what the spokesperson of the ANC in the province had to say about why they've decided to reject that recommendation. Okay, the, in, in terms of the constitution of the ANC, issues around membership and sanctions of membership resides with the disciplinary committee. Um, it is, resides with the disciplinary committee and those are constitutional. Um, so we just felt that the integrity committee um, or in the integrity commission can't make sanctions against membership, it's only the disciplinary committee. But the NEC is also um, has a similar situation with them where the National Integrity Commission has made recommendations related to members' membership if the NEC um, agrees with those recommendations, it's going to set a precedence, and if need be, the PEC may be called in um, to follow suit. Has anyone from the National Executive Committee of the ANC said anything about what she is talking about? Well, they haven't said anything at this point. Then I spoke to George Mashamba, who is um, the chairperson of the National Integrity Commission of the ANC. And he's indicated that as the terms of reference of the Integrity Commission stands at the moment, that the findings of the Integrity Commission and the recommendation of the Integrity Commission are not binding. And this is quite interesting for me because the impression has always been given that once the Integrity Commission has said this must happen, the NEC has, not, there has no choice but to accept that recommendation. And yesterday, this, was, this perception that I at least have of the powers of the Integrity Commission was reinforced by Gwede Mantasha, who is the chairperson of the ANC. And just take a listen to what he had to say while they were we're on the campaign trail. The Integrity Commission 
takes decisions. And those decisions are referred to the NEC for ratification. So it's for ratification. It's not for deliberation to turn, to, to, to turn around or to say that we accept this aspect, we think that this should be revisited and so forth. He says it is for ratification. Now, what's going to happen now, given what the ANC in Gauteng has done with regard to um, these three, Mufugeng, Katani, uh, Mashang, uh, and Brian Shlomo? Well, um, at least they remain members of the PEC of the ANC. This is now the two. And um, all three of them still um, have their membership cards as ANC members. They'll have to wait until the 4th of November. That's when the NEC of the ANC will be meeting to discuss the national um, report that is coming from the Integrity Commission with regards to the VBS matter implicating um, some members of the ANC in Limpopo. And as Tasnim has indicated, that they will then take their cue from that. And as I said yesterday to Cathy as well, that this is said to be a hot potato because as you can hear that there are various varying understandings of what the powers of the Integrity Commission is, whether it is at a national level or whether it is at a provincial level as well.